Come with me as I take you through the world of Barbie experience in Mississauga, Ontario. As I walked in, I was extremely overwhelmed by the life-size version of Barbie's iconic Malibu dream house and was surrounded by 30,000 square feet of a Barbie-drenched environment. Walked down various streets named after various dolls, did cartwheels on the front lawn turf with my niece, and got to visit various rooms, each of them representing one of Barbie's 250 careers and her iconic lifestyle. You got to play instruments, even DJ, hear yourself sing in the recording studio. You even got to test your scientific knowledge in the laboratory. You could fly down a slide and into a ball pit, and you can sharpen your on-camera skills with a live newscast at Barbie's TV Center. I have to say my favorite part of the entire experience was the Barbie's dream house and guests could explore that beautiful Malibu home that had a kitchen, a living room, and of course a dreamy walk-in closet, but nothing beat that beautiful beach view. Barbie enthusiasts are really going to love this experience. Here I am walking through Barbie's kitchen in her Malibu dream home and I could not help but be reminded of being a young girl playing within my Barbie dream house and playing in the Barbie kitchen with all the accessories, playing on the patio, playing in the pool, and of course Barbie's closet, and this was my favorite experience. Here you can see all her shoes and her wardrobe and all her clothing and her purses, and as you can see, I am very excited. This is one of my favorite things about Barbie, was the fashion and being able to dress up Barbie in different clothes and in different accessories. As I walked out of Barbie's dream home, I had to take one last look at the beautiful beach view. Next up was the Barbie camper, and I actually did have this item as a child. This was complete with a purple hammock, patio furniture, and you were even able to go inside where the steering wheel is, honk the horn, and staff were taking pictures. There was just no shortage of picture-worthy moments here, and every corner had something to admire. As you approach the final stop and the final rooms of the World of Barbie experience, you have a chance to learn about the history and evolution of Barbie. There's tons of displays showcasing her outfits, even the cars she drove, as you can see here, um, her careers, even her, the different dream houses that she's had, um, as well as icons from various tribute collections and just all the various fashions that she's had throughout the years. This was probably my favorite room as I got to educate my niece a little bit on how I knew Barbie and what I knew about her growing up. This was really cool. This was a life-size version of the original 1962 Barbie dream home. The, the home was originally just made of cardboard. It was very simple. They even had a little TV playing black and white Barbie commercials. Thought that was super cool for my niece to see um, the history of the doll and how she came to be. There was a room that just kind of showed various milestones of Barbie throughout the year uh, with various dates. They even had the original Barbie camper and even the 1962 uh, home that we had just seen the life-size version of that was there on display as well in the box. There was a whole room paying homage to Ruth Handler and just, you know, um, you know, the first Barbie and a ton of facts and just very inspirational uh, quotes um, inspiring women and young girls to be anything they can be. They showed some Barbies there of their, like all of the careers Barbie has had. And then of course my niece had to go down Barbie's pool slide for the thousandth time, but that's okay because she was happy and you know what, I was happy and if, if you've not checked out the world of Barbie in Mississauga, you need to.